I'm going to try not to be on to this too long, but I just want to share a thought that came to me earlier today. Now, several years ago, I did a video on YouTube regarding torching and burning America. This is the revelation that was given to me at that particular time. Since I posted that video, YouTube removed it. Now there's quite a few videos that YouTube removed. And thinking back on that now, they removed them because of the fact that the revelation that was given to me was right on point. Because the things that I predicted in the past we are now living in those days. I talked about how America was going to be torched and burned by the Democrats. I gave an example of the mafia on how there were times when the mafia would open businesses. They would start businesses, they would do their business there. And when they get tired of that business, they would torch and burn it for insurance purpose sake. Now, the Democrats, especially the Biden administration, and you have to keep in mind that this is on every level of the government. Corruption is on every level of the government. The FBI, the CIA, the IRS, the Alphabet Boys, the media is all a part of the corruption that's happening here in America to torch and burn America to destroy America even the media much of what we hear in the media in many cases are not the truth even when they make attempts to fact check you, you can actually post something that was in the news. And because of the fact that you shed light on something that most of the population won't see, they would in turn remove it and say that it's not factual information. So we're living in very dangerous times and people have to really be mindful to what you choose to believe and what you follow. Now, everyone, even the voters, that's all a part of what's happening in this country, in this nation, which also affects globally will have to give an account for that. In my humble opinion, it's not like you can just repent and everything would be okay. God is watching everything you do. Every idle word that comes out of your mouth, every idle thought that comes to your mind, God is watching. Whether you choose to believe in God or not, God is watching and judgment is coming your way. And the thing about God is that you have no idea when he's going to strike. Now, earlier today, I was listening to a news article regarding Joe Biden and Zelensky and how Zelensky came back to the United States for more money and the thought came to me that this is not really aid to Ukraine maybe a certain portion is going towards Ukraine because you have to understand Zelensky is being used as a puppet although in my humble opinion this is not so much for aid in Ukraine, but this is no more than a bribe. Zelensky is bribing 
Joe Biden and the Democrats. So Joe Biden have no other option. He have no choice but to give Zelensky what he wants. Joe Biden is being bullied by Zelensky. This is no more than aid now. Yes, weaponry is being shipped to Ukraine, allegedly feuding against Russia. So you have to understand, it, 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 it's almost like a two-headed coin because they're scratching each other's back. Zelensky is scratching Biden's back because Biden wants to get at Russia indirectly. Biden is supplying Zelensky with whatever he wants because Zelensky have something over Biden's head. But what's going to happen is after Joe Biden, the Democrat Party, finished using Zelensky to accomplish their mission, then Zelensky, by the Biden administration slash Democrats, would cease to exist. They have already marked Zelensky to be deleted. Those are my thoughts. So the money you see Zelensky getting from Biden because every time he comes back, and you have to keep in mind, Americans are suffering for the most part. There are so many Americans that's in poverty. So many businesses put out of business since Biden had been in office. There are so many Americans that are now homeless and living on the street because of the Biden administration. They can't afford to live. In many cases, they can't even afford to eat and feed their families. Even with the little money that the Democrats are giving them. Just enough to keep them quiet and just enough to keep them voting for them. While the Democrat Party replaced their voting base, which is the black community. Because many of the so-called black community are now talking about turning away from the Democrat Party. But when you are in an abusive relationship, in your mind may tell you to flee and to get away. But because of the fact that you are conditioned, you will feel guilty if you vote anything other than the Democrat Party. Although your mind is telling you no, but your body is telling you yes. So watch what's happening. This is all a part of a greater scheme. Babylon is being destroyed. Babylon is being overrun with undocumented immigrants that we don't even know. Have no idea who these people are. They're coming over from just about every nation, every enemy of America have soldiers now behind lines. And there were videos I spoke on in the past about sleeping terror cells. And now the terror cells are quiet. You have illegal immigrants coming here paying rent of only 200 bucks a month while getting 
over 200 bucks in cash from the government. American people don't even get that. So our tax dollars are funding the destruction of America because Biden, the Democrat Party, and you know what? I don't really think that a lot of the people that's on the bandwagon and maybe because of the fact that everybody's got something over somebody's head. So they're being bullied, the FBI, the CIA, um, every level of the government is bullied in some kind of way. Somebody's got something over their head. And when you draw, destroy one level, then you're destroying yourself because, hey, I got something on you too. Even the media, even when it comes to big corporations, even when it comes to the pharmaceutical companies. Now, you have this young dude that's trying to run for president, that's from India. I don't trust him. And I'm going to be speaking on this in a later video. He's no more. He's an op. He reminds me of Barack Obama that came out of nowhere. Clean cut, well spoken. He was the president of a biotech company. So now he's running for president. Seem to have answers for everything. And of course you have the American people that's listening to what he's saying without discerning that he is no more than, hmm, there's a word I want to use. If he becomes president, because you got to understand, he's playing all sides. He'll make it appear that he's for Trump. But at the same time, there's a lot of other things that he say that make me believe that he's a Trojan horse. He'll tell you what you want to hear, like Obama did, like Biden did, until he actually get into office. You have the government that's pushing these meds. You have this guy from a biotech company that wants to run from president. Do the math. I'm going to end it right here because I didn't mean to, to be on this this long. But mark what I say. This is all a part of the greater bad to destroy this nation. Open borders, the pharmaceuticals that's being forced upon uh, this nation, the people, the free cheeseburgers and hamburgers that's only for a penny when you really don't know what you are eating. You have borders wide open this nation is being overrun and flooded while you have the president of the United States that's taking all of our tax dollars that's not supporting America but just sending it out giving it away causing this nation to go under while supporting the enemies of America and the crazy thing about this is while he's doing this, no one is trying to stop him. Even when it comes to the Republican Party, they talk a good game, but yet nothing is being done to stop what's going on. 
inflation, high gas prices, everything. And if you look at rent itself, you have illegal immigrants that only have to pay 200 and something dollars a month for rent. Many of them are being put up in high-end hotels for nothing. They have free health care, which Americans don't have free health care. Being overrun and now you have political figures who you voted into office are ignoring the cries of the people that voted them, that put them in office, and they're all catering to the illegal immigrants that's crossing the open border that Joe Biden created, that's giving them free health care, free lodging, basically, and then you have Americans paying close to $2,000 a month for rent in an apartment. In the hood, they're paying like from $800 to $1,200 to live in the hood. People are struggling. And yet your, go your government that's confiscating your tax dollars are not using those tax dollars for the benefit of the people of America, but for the benefit of the enemies of America, the criminals of America. So this is all a part of the bigger plan to torch and burn America. And the citizens, the so-called citizens, are no more than pawns. So feedback, tell me what you think, subscribe, click on the Cash App, support this channel. Until next time, I'm fearless.